Right, right now this is an actual canoe that washed up on Manzalena shore according to our host today. Yeah, now have you ever been fascinated by these gingerbread houses here in Trinidad and Tobago and wondered what they would be like, you know, back in the days? Well, I think it's about time we find out in this one. Ooh, what's up my Trinbago Vibe peeps? Welcome to another edition of Trinbago Vibes. Yeah. Behind me is the Angelo Becessor Sing Heritage House and Museum. We are going to take a tour and also we are going to, you know, have a little afternoon tea. So let's go. Trinbago Vibes. But first, let me show you how to get here. So from the east side of the Queen's Park Savannah, you swing left onto Belmont Circular Road. You know, past the police station and the Belmont Government Primary until you hit this Y junction. Then you continue right, you know, along the curve and continue driving until you pass St. Francois Catholic Church, I believe, on the right-hand side. And just look for this blue house with this blue wall on the left-hand side. And you would arrive at the Angelo Becessa Singh Heritage House and Museum. Now once there, the host will open this gate for you and it's just to drive into the back of the house. As you can see, there's ample parking for when you are visiting this museum, the Heritage House, right here in Belmont. A true gingerbread house. So yeah, and it looks like rain. So let's head inside. By the way, they only host one group, you know, big or small at a time. So you and your peeps are good to go here at the Angelo Becessa's Heritage House, which was built between 1903 and 1906. And it's always been nice to like enter these kind of colonial style houses just to see the architecture of things back in the days. And I have to commend the Becessa family for decorating these spaces with these antique pieces which they plan to change out every you know three months or so so it will be a different experience every quarter of the year which is pretty cool so it's definitely worth visiting and revisiting you know all right let's get a little history of the heritage house from miss Anne, or rather professor Anne. i think it was an overseer's house oh okay um, what we do know is that one of the first persons to live here was the person, the architect, who did the um, St. Francois Church. Uh -huh. um, we know it's a George Brown house. Yeah. Another period we know is from 1957 to 2007, Mr. K.B.J. Joseph lived here. Oh, and he was okay. the director of Lands and Surveys. Wow. Yeah. So we know that period. We know the period after him, he was he sold it to Mr. Michael Tony. Yeah. And this was used as a mediation center. Okay, okay. So it was eventually acquired by the Bicessa family. Now, on with the tour of this beautifully furnished heritage house, you know, or what I will call a colonial house, style house. Now, from the living room, we are guided to the formal dining room, and Professor Anne provided a wealth of knowledge on this tour. And it was pretty awesome to just learn about the history and the times back in the late 1800s early 1900 period yeah these are some potato cases from that period as well by the way check out this old school phone yeah this thing i'm not sure if they'll hear it <laughs> but it actually works yeah kids these days may not know how to work this dial phone no, not this here this is modern we're talking about what is <laughs> right from the dining room, we were led into the kids' bedroom where you got a preview of some items from the early 1900 period, you know, back in those days, even this doll. You know, it's always interesting to understand where we came from to appreciate where we're going. Now, the next room where peeps would fix or learn to sew their clothes. Now, that's an interesting poem. My mother taught me how to sew and at the time I did not know that with every stitch, I now compete with every row. I do so neat, my mother heart is there with me, guiding my hand for all to see. Sarah, 1893. Wow. Old school sewing machine. 
post the wardrobe. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button. By the way, my Trinbago Vibe peeps in the teaching profession, they also offer school tours here. So you can give them a call, you know, and organize. Yep, these are the ironing boards back then. And some other dolls and other historical items. So although you are seeing all these things right now in this video, to get the full experience, you need to visit. And I'll leave the information on that later in the video. And also I'll leave it a link to that in the description below. So yeah, let's continue the tour. Into the master bedroom we go, which also has a few extra items from back in the days. By the way, this rocking chair is from 1755. Yeah, that's how old this is vintage antique that's well, over 200 years now i'm aware of the potty used back in those days but i did not know about this male potty until this tour let me know in the comments below if you know about the male potty you know way back then way back in the days and speaking of potties you know this was the toilet back then as well you do your numbers in this bowl and then you go and throw it out after see why i told you we have to appreciate what we have in our bathroom nowadays all right let's head into the study and see the man himself angelo bisasa singh the namesake of this museum and right here in this book is newspaper clippings of every historical article written by him which is awesome especially as this study is more of a tribute to the person he was and his passion for the preservation of Trinbagonian history. Yeah. So this book has a lot of information that he would have written over the years. Yeah, look, at, look at this. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, he did. All right. So we were mentioning, this is not a museum per se. It is an experience. So we highly recommend you all come and visit and let me just introduce you, Miss Patricia Bissessa. Yes, the person who is running the Angelo Bissessa Virtual Museum on Facebook, right here. And she could give you the details how somebody could book here. Right. Nice meeting viewers. Hello from the Angelo Bissessa Virtual Museum and from the Angelo Bissessa Heritage House. Anybody wishing to visit can go on our website. You just Google it. The Angelo B. Testing Heritage House, and you can make a book in there. We also cater for events, birthdays, anniversaries, proposals, weddings, small events, and we are willing to cater for you all. So come visit us. Yes, Miss Patricia B. Sessa. I'll leave a link of that in the description below, so yeah, you can also check that out. All right. Before we jump into this afternoon tea session, I just want to showcase some of the other antiques at the Angelo Bessessa Sing Heritage House. Cue music. And don't forget to sign the guest book. Alright, tea time. Not on the biscuit. <laughs> so there are two options here, savory and sweet, that you can select. And we went savory. Trust me, this is a wonderful way to end this tour. Alright, we just finished a lovely tea session right here after a tour of the heritage. Museum right here in Belmont. The food was nice. We also were celebrating my mother-in-law's birthday and the cake was lovely. Compliments to the chef here at the Heritage House. Highly recommend, the tea was fantastic. And all information, I will leave that in the description below. All right, hope you all enjoyed that one and I'll see you all in the next one. We go on, later. And there, this is uh, the actual cannonball. The last spot we'd have seen this would have been at the National Museum, uh, old school newspapers. Wow. Let's show you all from this angle. And here. <laughs> you definitely enjoyed the car collection and books. And well, some people would enjoy this. 
sword collection here. Right. <laughs> 